These specific fellowships have been designed for people who aren't medically trained. So the existing fellowships that uh, are out there that Imperial College provide uh, and the Trust provide are for all workers. But what we've decided to do is have ring fence budget for these specific fellowships and these will be specifically for nurses, midwives, allied health professionals, pharmacists and clinical scientists. We've decided to launch these new research fellowships because as part of the national BRC training forum that I'm part of, it was identified at a national level in all hospitals and academic health sciences centres that there was a real lack of opportunity for this part of the workforce to get involved in research. Candidates will be supported uh, throughout the uh, one-year research fellowship. We would expect them to have a supervisor who's very experienced at supervising researchers. They can also make uh, use of the clinical academic training scheme and mentorship scheme that Imperial College Healthcare NHS Trust have been awarded as part of the NHR. Um, and the idea would be that they're supported in the research and also guided as a, uh, by their mentor. As Professor of Nursing here at the Trust, I'm absolutely delighted to be involved in this scheme of research fellowships. It's a wonderful opportunity and we've been working with our Biomedical Research Centre and the Imperial Charity to give nurses and other non-medical professions this opportunity of a one-year fellowship. It's really important that we have a lot of good applications for this because we've campaigned hard to try and build the capacity for research in our non-medical professions here. We have Imperial as a medical powerhouse for research and really very limited capacity so far in the other health professionals. So we're really keen to build capacity so that we can undertake truly multidisciplinary research at the Trust and the College. This fellowship will really benefit anyone's career. It's going to look great on your CV. We hope it will lead to a future research career, the possibility of getting a PhD fellowship, future research grants. What's not to like to have a whole year out of your clinical service funded to do research that you're interested in. It's really important that we build research capacity in the non-medical professions in healthcare. A lot of people have illnesses these days which can't be cured and we need to learn how to look after them better and make our practice based on good evidence and this research opportunity will help us create that evidence. What we want to achieve with these fellowships is allow this subgroup of the workforce an opportunity to be involved in research, to see whether they're good at research and then develop their research skills. This will then allow them the opportunity, if things go well, to apply for further research funding and develop their clinical academic career.